Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKRSoft. In this video, we are going to discuss about AutoSAR interview questions. I am planning to cover 10 AutoSAR interview questions in this part. And I am planning to take multiple parts for AutoSAR interview questions in future. First, we can start to discuss about what is AutoSAR. AutoSAR is Automotive Open System Architecture. And before AutoSAR, Application software is tightly coupled with the hardware. So, in this case, software is highly hardware dependent and large efforts for relocating functions. But with the help of AutoSAR, now application software is independent of hardware because RTE plays a major role between application software and hardware. So, in this case, software is largely independent of the chosen microcontroller and simplify it simplifies the development process as well. At the same time, we can reuse the same software for multiple ECUs because in application software, we will create everything as a software component. The same software component can be used in multiple ECUs. Second question is, what is the difference between classic and adaptive AutoSAR? And classic AutoSAR is statically configured one, but adaptive AutoSAR is dynamically configured one. In classic AutoSAR, we are using single address space. In adaptive AutoSAR, we are using virtual adapt address space. And classic AutoSAR, it's based on signal-based communication, meaning CAN and flex ray. But in adaptive, it is service-oriented communication. Classic is based on OSEK. Adaptive is based on POSIX. And classic is execution of code is directly from ROM. But in adaptive case, application is loaded from persistent memory into RAM. In static, the classic case, it's statically defined task configuration. But in adaptive, it support for multiple scheduling strategies. So the finally, classic is a statically configurable one. Adaptive is dynamically configurable one. And the next question is, what is ports? Ports is an entity to make a communication between two software components. And if you want to transfer the data, then you need a port. So the component communicates with the outside world exclusively using ports. And port provides information or require information from its communication partners. Now, what are the types of ports? So, type is P port, R port and PR port. P port means it's a provider port. It will provide the data via specific interface. R port means it's a receiver port. Receive the data via specific interface. PR port is provider receiver port. It can take the role of both the required and provided port prototype. And if you want to see the configuration for P port, R port and PR port, you have to configure in such a way. What is software component? So software component is a piece of code which carries out an application. So if you want to configure the software component, then you should have a ports and you should have an internal behavior. Internal behavior has data rate mapping reference, exclusive area, AR type per instance memory, events, port API option and you can have inter-runnable variables and you can have a runnables as well. And it is a modular building block that can be used to construct an AutoSAR software system. The main purpose of software components in AutoSAR is to make it reusability and to design a software module independent of embedded hardware. So types of software components, application software component, service software component, sensor actuator software component, easy abstraction software component, Complex device driver software component, service proxy software component, NB block software component, parameter software component, and composition software component. And the next question is, what is composition? So composition, it's a it's a combination means it it contains more than one component. And composition represents represents a logical assembly of interacting software components. And composition has multiple software component. And composition refer to the process of integrating software component to create a functional software application or system. Next question is, what is the difference between component and composition? So composition means it can have a multiple components and component refers it's a self-contained piece of software and composition define how the components interact with each other and how they are deployed to hardware. Components are can communicate with each other using standardized interfaces defined in the AutoSAR architecture. What is the difference between assembly connector and delegation connector? So assembly connector is responsible for connecting to make a communication between two software components. If you will see this picture, software component A will be connected with software component B. Software component A has P port 
and softer component B has R port and this two components are inside the composition. So if you want to make a communication between two software component, then you should have an assembly connector. What is delegation connector? Delegation connectors connect the ports of composition software component with the ports of its inner software components. So this is the purpose we need a delegation connector. What is the difference between SR interface and CS interface. SR interface means sender receiver interface. CS interface means client server interface. So sender receiver interface mainly used to send a data between the software components. For an example, if you want to send a data of 1 byte, 2 byte or maximum of 4 bytes. So it is simple example of variable via variable. If you want to transfer the data, then you can use a sender receiver interface. So it is similar to extend keyword how we used in C language the same way the center interface plays a role. Plain server interface this will be mainly used to transfer more number of data between the software components via function call. So this will be create as a function call and function definition. So it defines a function prototype that can be invoked based on client server ports. That is the difference between center receiver interface and client server interface. Hope you have a clarity of all these 10 questions. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.